vlog at all any yesterday. I was sick, stuck at home, still not feeling the greatest. And it's important that I don't miss work to begin with. The hallway on Sunday was a horror. It was just crazy, stuff wasn't fitting, or like seams are showing, like this just doesn't look good. Um, so we had to rearrange it quite a few times. Jeffrey was beside himself, kind of. He has blisters all over his hands. He hurt his knuckle, like busted it open pretty much. So it was just <laughs> kind of a nightmare. We didn't stop till like eight o'clock and then I got a shower, I got the kitchen situated because the kitchen was still a disaster because we had finished the kitchen that afternoon and then started on the living room, which the kitchen was more horrible to um, pull up the vinyl. The carpet wasn't too, too bad, but it was those, um, it was those tack strips where like all of the nails are coming out of. That was horrible. So instead of Jeffrey using the hammer, which he busted his knuckle on, I found if you use a shovel, I found that on YouTube, somebody using a shovel, so I recommended that, and he said it was so much easier. So I'm glad that we were able to get that done, but it's still a process. Anytime you're ripping up carpet, you know, you gotta get it clean underneath. I think that was the biggest process. It's not as hard putting down the stuff. In the hallway, yes. And Jeffrey even admitted to me, he was like, yeah, I should have started in the hallway but I thought if I had gotten one row done transitioning from the kitchen into the living room, he's trying to make the space feel better, plus he thought it would be easier to do that way instead of starting in the hallway, just make it look more natural. But, and we kept it that way. Um, we were able to get things fixed around, but laminate is a real piece of work. So, I didn't get a shower till like, I think it was 9.30. Was eating ice cream around 10, didn't go to bed till, I mean, I went to bed around 10.30, 11, but I was so exhausted by that point. My body was drained. I was aching all over. Jeffrey hurt worse than I did, and he still went to work yesterday. I can't believe it. But then I was feeling really nauseous on Sunday night, and that progressed into Monday, which I bought some cola. It's cola syrup, if y'all never had it. I actually like it better than Coke. It tastes just like Coke, but it's the syrup, and you put it over ice. Somebody told me about this last time I was sick, and I just decided to buy some. I just drank some this morning because I'm wanting to stay good. I have my pink zebra party on Sunday. I'm gonna try to take off Friday so that way I can get the house kind of cleaned up. Jeffrey's, I believe Jeffrey is gonna take off Thursday and Friday so I can finish the floor on Thursday. And then we need to run by the dump because all of the carpeting, there's like sawdust all in the garage. It's just, it's a mess right now. And none of the bags really are gonna fit in our trash can. Plus, not to mention this week, and I think another thing that made me feel bad besides almost, I think, starting my dot, is that we ate like crap all weekend. Saturday, we got pizza for dinner. Sunday, we had Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast, and then we had Culver's for dinner. So I just don't think that mixed out very well. Plus, the it's been really warm lately, so that's kind of throwing everybody for a mix. I just need to start feeling better. And I've been taking my vitamin B12 and vitamin C every day. But, you know, what you put in your body really affects how you feel. And I haven't been eating the best, so that's not been good either. But I meal prepped for Jeffrey now this morning, and I meal prepped for him yesterday. I need to buy some more grilled chicken if I don't have any more at work. If I have some at work, which I'm hoping I do, because I don't want to go anywhere after. kind of thought about going to the gym today, just use the elliptical, but I think my body just needs a rest. That's why I didn't end up going to the gym last night, but you know, I, was, I was also sick, so. Um, I'm kind of amazed at The Bachelor last night. I don't know, I've heard Andy's not coming back as a fling, but I didn't know he showed up to Caitlyn's season at the last minute to try to get her back. But I'm gonna get off here and focus on driving. I did edit a video for you guys and it's actually already posted, it's just not public yet. I just need to finish like the thumbnail and the tags and everything and then it'll be good to go. Started working on another one yesterday, didn't get too, too far, but I mean, I did get more done. I kind of feel bad because the whole weekend I didn't have time to. 
And then while I'm sick, I've got a little bit of time, but not as much to dedicate because I'm feeling. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday. I am just headed to the gym. I'm off today. I came home last night and Jeffrey was pretty much done with the flooring, so that was nice. So I took Shadow for a walk since it's been like 70 degrees out. It's so nice. It's supposed to get up to like 77, 80 degrees. It's 67 currently, so I'm a little chilly right now in shorts in this top, but I know once I get to the gym, I'll be sweating. Hopefully, I'll feel better because it's that time of the month. Unfortunately, I'm just getting that hormonal acting. Like, it's like the past few times. I don't, it doesn't always happen like this. So maybe it's something I'm eating in combination with it. I'm not sure, but if y'all have any tricks or solutions, let me know. We have to finish the flooring today as in like caulk and then put the quarter rounds on. Just get that finished. It's looking really, really good. Like, I really love it. So thank you to Jeffrey's dad who let us borrow some of the tools. That was awesome. And it definitely helped us out a lot. Hey y'all, so I am just headed back to my house. It is Sunday, sorry I haven't really vlogged that much. I have been super busy this weekend. I took off Friday, we got the flooring done. I think I vlogged a little bit. Saturday, I took Jeffrey out on a little mini date and we picked up some Starbucks and I got him some clothes. I took him shopping and then I went to, took him to a place where I go get my hair cut at so he could get it trimmed up and it looks perfect. I mean, she just knew how to fade it perfectly, but I'm not really surprised because she does my hair and she does a really good job and it's fast and simple and quick. I think she spent more time on Jeffrey's hair than mine, which is pretty cool. And my parents are still at the house. I had my pink zebra party today, which was so much fun. I would have vlogged, but it just kind of went by too fast. We're drinking some mimosas. Actually, I was only one drinking mimosas. Jeffrey went to help his dad move a treadmill and he called me at 3.15 and was like, can you pick up Shadow? And I'm like, seriously, dude? Like, I would be kind of mad at him, but I can't be because yesterday I kind of whined about eating and he had to go pick it up. I did find a cool food service called Orange Crate, which they deliver to you. They even deliver you Starbucks, which I think is awesome. So that happened yesterday. I self-tan a little bit. I only did for two hours and I like it better. So I think I'm going to start well, I wish it was a little bit longer, but it'll be okay. And I got some Jergens Daily Moisturizer just for like keeping my glow healthy, seeing if that helps. Cause I'm always looking for different ways to self tan. I got some more food ideas for shadow, which will be great. So I'm really excited for what's to come. Ordered a bunch of um, Pink Zebra stuff, which is awesome. I always love that. And then. I'll get a couple free gifts, hopefully if we hit $500, which hopefully we will tomorrow. I only need like 40, 50 more dollars, so. But anyways, I'm just excited to have my baby girl, because I always miss her when she's gone. I love her so much. And somebody said my highlighter was on fleek today. I don't know what we're going to eat tonight, because I was going to make those ribs, but hopefully Jeffrey will be home soon, you know? And I didn't even have her leash or anything. Like Jeffrey has her treats, her leash. Luckily, I was able to find one that you just, it's just like a piece of rope that you just put around her neck, which I mean, isn't horrible. It's like that kind of rope. I don't want y'all to think I just tied string to my child, my fur baby. So I put it across her and she like, it was perfect. It was like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So we're good there. Excited to get home soon. My mom's there, my mom's friend's there. So she was the one who was talking about the dogs with me. So they want to meet Shadow. My mom wants to see Shadow. So hopefully she doesn't pee all over the place. Got the floor finally finished yesterday. Um, and Jeffrey's going to put down the bathroom. We had to redo the bathroom now because it ripped up some of that vinyl. So we just got some marble vinyl to put down. We'll see how that looks. I'm excited. Everybody was giving me compliments on my floor, my house. I was like, well, that's awesome. Like, that makes me feel so good. But I'm going to get off here and drive just wanted to say hello. Sorry I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I figured out, somebody told me this and I didn't know this, in decaf there is caffeine in it, just not a lot. Like way less in Starbucks and normally what you get, I drink a venti decaf butterscotch latte and a, well iced butterscotch latte. Felt like I was jumping off the wall today. I don't know why. Because there really wasn't that much caffeine, but I guess more than I normally drink because I normally get like a grande or a tall. 